Welcome to Isaiah Amonde Mixed Secondary School, where children from pre-K through high school aren't just receiving an education, they're getting the chance to transform their lives and fulfill the promise of their own potential. My name is Carolina Diambo. I'm a student in this school called Isaiah Amonde, Mixed Secondary School. I am proud to be here. Amonde is a good school. We have enough teachers, staff, and the clean environment. The school sits in a beautiful valley in a rural area of southwestern Kenya, in a community known as Agongo. Agongo means rocks stacked upon one another. I joined here in Form 1 in the year 2015. The school helped me a lot because if this school was not here, my future life, I think, cannot be there. Add drop by drop of food sample S. Observe and note the color change. My parents died on a road accident. My grandmother is the one I lived with. So it is a difficult life, but God is there. Because my parents were not there, I cannot go to secondary school. Yes, but because of God's grace, I met a man called Fred Omundi Rabi. I talked to him, then he decided to take me to a Simonde secondary school. With the help of generous Christian partners in the U.S., the Isaiah Amonde School is offering primary and university preparatory high school education, along with core values, to ready the future leaders of Kenya in business, politics, science, and other professions. <laughs> and in an area that's been heavily stricken by malaria and the AIDS epidemic, the school is also saving lives. I am Pastor Joel Lukeo Amonde. I'm born right here in Agongo. God spoke to me and put a burden in my heart to start a church in this community in the year 1997. So I started with five people. This tree right here was our church. We have seen God do greater things from the humble beginning. When I come to visit the school in the Maasai community, it reminds me of how Agongo was five years ago. We had mud houses and the wind would come and blow it off. The same thing that is happening here. God has done abundantly, more than we were thinking and could imagine. And right now we have computers, we have qualified teachers, we are registered with the Kenyan government as a private school. I'm just so excited of what God is doing. The school helped me a lot. We are three children, all girls, but I'm the last born. The others have got married. So for me, on my future, I did not want to be in the state in which they are. Yeah, that's why I decided to change my future. And I think I'll change it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'd like to be a nurse in my future. When I finish my university, because I'm going to university direct, I come back and help Agongo people also to live a better life. Yes. <laughs> I would like to be a lawyer. I would like to be a pilot. I would like to be a teacher. I would like to be a lawyer. I would like to be a driver. I would like to be a lawyer. I would like to be a pilot. I would like to be a doctor. I would like to be a 
university. I would like to be a nurse. I would like to be a doctor. I would like to be a doctor. The reason why people want to be lawyers and nurses and probably pilots, they see how people are a lot of injustice. So they think if they become lawyers, they will defend the family. They can help. Yeah. And nurses, they see people dying of very <coughs> basic diseases. And like somebody is going to give birth. And... Uh, there is no means and to take them to where they can be helped and they end up dying as you watch. So children grow up with this, oh if I become a nurse maybe I can save somebody's life. We are drop by drop. My hope for this school and uh, for this entire community is that uh, in the next few years when our students are going to sit for exams we produce among the best students in this country. If we give them the right equipment, we hope to produce university grades come the time they sit for the national examinations. Thanks to the developing alliance with Christian partners in California, the Isaiah Amonde School has accomplished so much in just five years. <laughs> Along with things like computers and qualified teachers, the school also has electricity and internet access, buses for transportation, and an availability of simple but nutritious food. But there is still so much that needs to be done. Beautiful permanent buildings have been built, but many, including the library, stand empty. Wells have been dug, but having enough safe, clean water is still a concern. A perimeter wall meant to keep students in and things like snakes out is only partially complete. Segregated boys and girls dormitories have been built along with improved sanitation facilities, but this is only a beginning. In an area so hard hit by the AIDS crisis, the need for housing and loving support is tremendous. Qualified teachers have been hired but many are from out of the area and need proper accommodations. These educators are teaching, but sometimes without the benefit of the proper textbooks or lab equipment. We have a lab fitted with uh, sinks and gas taps, but we have no stools. You can check on the wall, we have empty sockets. We need a measuring balance, electric measuring balance, because physics will deal with the quantities, we will require uh, cables, I mean wires, uh, dry cells, we have bulbs to carry out an electricity class. Uh, we need other equipment like testers and so on, the batteries. Um, if we can get such, I believe we can have a, a good class. And of course there's tools. Tools are very necessary. The other issue that we have, when the new government came in five years ago, they introduced Elani. And as we catch up with the development in the world, it equally requires us to technically develop so that we get the technological aspect in learning. We would be grateful if we could, inter after introducing our students to computers, we give them tablets where they get the information in a soft copy. Then the other issue that we have has to do with our dining hall. That is a church. During the evenings, or in weekdays when the church functions are over, we use it as the dining hall. And for us to serve the students, we require benches that they use for their meals. And that hasn't happened, and we hope and trust that with the good partners like you, all that we wish for would eventually become a reality. What I can say, if you all and he also is not there, I would like, I will not be here. If somebody comes into contact with my message, and they feel tagged by God and they want how they can help is 
Very easy. Kindly support one child. $35 per every month will keep the child in school. They will get food. They will be taken to the hospital if they are ill. They will get the school uniform. They will get dormitories because in the dormitories we have people who are caring for them. The teachers must be paid. And your sponsorship will give them the desk, the chalk, the book. From 35 uh, US dollars, you will get everything to make sure they are in school. And I would like to thank you, all of you, for taking us, or for providing us with other facilities. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you.